we're going to do garden peas. Some, Petit you, know, you, pract you practically don't see any peas anymore. Why is that? Frozen ones? I never use them at you all. Never, I like the frozen one, actually. I mean, fresh is always better. But those frozen ones, they open them like this in a bath of water with salt, and the one high in starch goes to the bottom, the one high in sugar floats to the top. When you buy those frozen, you should buy the tender, tiny peas, and those are the small ones in the pad. And those are just, I think they are pretty good. When you don't have any choice. In the frozen vegetables, probably my favorite. Pick something else, I would say. Right. OK, I have my wonderful old chef, Max Bignard, and his method for store-bought peas was you first you put some butter a little butter. Directly in the roll piece, like this? Yeah, and a little, and I'm gonna put in a little tiny bit of sugar, about like that, and some kosher salt, and then you rub them together and bruise them. With the butter and all? With the butter, with your, with your bare hands. Why would you want to bruise them? Because it's, that's the way, it, mean that's, that's the recipe. That's the recipe, good. And it, and it really works. So while you're bruising your pea, I'll start mine. All right, you start And I have yours. about uh, two, two and a half cup of peas here. And I'm going to put tiny pearl onion, about two dozen of those. I'm going to put about a cup of water. I put some sugar in it, a tiny bit of sugar. I'm stealing some of your salt. That's okay. A tiny bit of salt and pepper. And I'm going to put a little piece of ham in it. And I like really that country type ham. You know, I have, this is a thick slice from the supermarket. I remove the fat here and cut that into oh, about inch pieces, no, not even inch actually, maybe half inch. That's it. I That's very put, good ham too. Petit isn't pois it? paysan, yes, mm -hmm. country style. And in this here, with a dash of olive oil. No butter. And a dash of butter, yes. I put a dash of butter because what will happen here, we're going to finish cooking it until there is no more water, mm -hmm. and then it will glaze with the butter and a little bit of the sugar. So theoretically, I cover that, and uh, then I cook that for about eight, 10 minutes until it's tender. There's a Thank cover. you very much. All right, so, yours? I finished bruising my peas and I washed my yeah, hands. That's interesting, yes. I mean, the way they look. Mm -hmm, they look queer. And then you then put we water have in just there. enough water, just so that they're covering. And then when they're cooked again, like yours, the water is all evaporated. All evaporated. So I, can you keep it over high heat with a tight cover? And you'll be amazed at what a nice flavor they have. Well, we're going to find out. Okay. I think these are ready, Chuck. Yep, they look good. I'll get you a bowl for that. I want you to see how to taste it now to be sure you think those are done. Yes. Mmm. They're nice and tender. Mmm. And that really oh, works awfully well mm. for old peas. Beautiful fresh peas like this. Look at that. I'm good enough. And the nice Mine. thing, doing it this way, you can do it a little bit ahead. And look at yours. And I'll cook too. You see, there is those basically no liquid left in mm -hmm. the bottom of that pan. Just a little bit. So, mm -hmm. this is what. Basically, you want, mm. and in a sense, you know, it's pretty similar to what we did. That good? Mm. -mm. Both very good. Mm. I think the ones are get beautiful, fresh vegetables, carefully cooked. They don't I, really need anything else. I love vegetables like this. Rather than often, you go to a restaurant and they. Dip them in the, in hot water. And they have no flavor. Right. Well, that's it for vegetables today. And happy cooking. And bon appetit. Have a good time. <laughs>